want to cover in this video are some of the more requested things I see from customers around additional comments and work notes. So if we go to incidents here, and we open up an incident, and we have our work notes and additional comments. Now, you have uh, this button here to switch and show both at the same time, and you can switch it back. Uh, you have this checkbox here that switches between additional comments and work notes. Uh, now, what a lot of my customers kind of see this the way this functions and. One very often requested thing is, well, can you make it so that it's two fields? Um, there are ways to do that, uh, but really this is a user preference setting, believe it or not. Whenever you click this button, it changes that user preference for your record, for your user. So if you want to have it so that it is two fields instead of one by default you can simply come here open up an incident come here to this field click this button and switch it to two okay now if you go to user preferences you'll now have a record for glide UI activity stream multiple inputs true. So this is a user preference record. It only applies to your record. But if you open this up and you click on system here and you take your username out of it, that is now the default for that user preference so that when you log in as any old regular ITIL user now those two fields are going to be separate now both fields by default now that doesn't mean that uh, a user if the, if the user comes and presses this it's going to create their own record so they can undo this it's just now by default this is what it is As a matter of fact if the user did come in here and do this that creates a user preference record just for that user for that particular setting of that multiple stream inputs to false. See, for that user. So you could, uh, if you really wanted to enforce it, you could put a uh, business rule on these user preferences that. Uh, didn't allow somebody to, to create a new record for their own user, something like that. But to set it as the default, it's really simple. Just do it. Come in here and click the system box, take your user out, make sure the value says true. Then there are two split ones. All right. So the other often requested uh, change to the uh, additional comments and work notes is the coloring. You'll see here it's got this little yellow bar and I, this yellow bar kind of indicates work notes and comments just doesn't have anything. Uh, it's gray. So uh, a lot of customers ask to change these colors up and what we normally end up doing is we make work notes green and we make additional comments red. So 
How do we do that? Well, these are system properties. So sys properties dot list sys underscore properties. And we're looking for glide dot UI dot activity. And you'll see there's a whole bunch of these different options. But uh, here for comments, what we're going to do is change that from transparent. And we've got a hex code for a nice light red color. Right, now we did that. That's for comments. And then for work notes, right? It's this gold. Um, I like light green. So it'll take either hex codes or some of these other color codes. At any rate, once you've set those, you can come back into incidents. And it kind of gives a nice visual cue of warning, this is going to the customer versus green light for internal. All right.